Welcome to the laser tripwire circuit. Now, this is going to be very similar to the LDR synth circuit, and our general goal is to use this guy, uh, a light dependent resistor, in a form of a voltage divider where he's going to detect changing levels of light, which means laser beam being cut. Um, and we're also going to need, obviously, a laser and something to indicate to us that, you know, uh, an alarm has been triggered, so I'm going to use an LED and a buzzer. So, as usual, we're just going to start by um, getting in a ground and a 5 volts. Now, for my 5 volts, GND 5V, I'm just going to get under the... I find it's neater, and the camera focuses on the cables if they're too high, and it kind of puts the whole image um, off. Okay, so now we've powered up, and we need to basically set up a voltage divider between an LDR and a resistor. Now, I actually am not sure, but I think this is a 3.3K. Realistically, anywhere between 1K and 10K is going to give you enough resolution on this LDR for it to work. So it doesn't really matter what size you're going to use. And to be honest, um, because we're going to be testing it, it doesn't even matter which uh, a side you put these in. But I normally go with the LDR and the 5 volts and the resistor and the GND and they meet in the same row. Then we're gonna need a, a reasonably long breadboard cable to go from the point where they meet into an analog um, pin and I'm just gonna choose A0. Um, A5, A5, change my mind. So, uh, that takes care of our sensing circuitry, and now we need uh, an LED and a buzzer. So LED, wow, you got the, so we're going to go long, no, we're going to have to go, I'm going to connect another ground to here, and I'm going to put this LED with the short leg in the blue rail. I'm going to put this buzzer in to row 19. And in order to fix that, I'm going to need to get the GND into this rail. That ought to do it. And I need a resistor going into the LED. And I need something to get the buzzer into the ground. I'm just going to use one of these short cables. So I think we're using 19 with it. Now I'm going to need some breadboard wires. Relatively short ones. One going into there. Now, probably going to use the usual suspects. Pin 6 and 8. Right, that goes into the 19. Okay, there it is. We have circuitry, basically, that's going to give us a different voltage for different light levels onto this LDR. We're going to bend it out, probably somewhere to receive like that, to receive the uh, laser beam. And we have a LED hooked up to pin 6, a buzzer hooked up to pin 8. And we are ready to program. So... Here we are, and let's have a look at the pre-written code. There is nothing fancy here. I've just labeled the LED that's in pin 6, the buzzer that's in pin 8, the LDR resistor that's connected through a voltage divider through pin A5, and I have declared a variable LDR value. It's set as 0 initially, but this is where we're going to store the live reading of the LDR. In the setup, we basically have uh, LED1 and buzzer set up as outputs. The LDR in A5 is set up as input, the one that's measuring um, the voltage on our LDR. And uh, we have serial begin because we'll be using some serial printouts to take live readings of the sensor. So having said that, let's take some of those live readings. So to do 
uh, read what is on our sensor, we're basically going to do um, an analog read function. So we use the analog read, and we would read A5, which is where the sensor is connected. Now we renamed A5 to LDR, so we're going to do that. And we're going to store this value in the variable that we've declared, which is LDR value. So LDR value equals to analog read LDR. So now that we've stored this value right here, we want to print it out. And to do that, we're just going to go serial.println. So we do it in a new line every time. LDR value. And say we put up a little delay here. Uh, half a second, maybe. And we upload. So if everything works fine, what we should see is a series of readings changing every half a second. Um, and these should be values between 0 and 1,024. 990, 989. And if I create a shadow, the reading is going to fall. At first, a little shadow or a total one. And it goes to about 824. And if I were to totally shade the sensor, it would go back down to 570 something. So in, in this kind of well-lit environment, if we just cut out the laser beam, it's going to drop by about 160. That's not a lot over the resolution of the entire sensor, which is 1024, but it's more than enough. So this will allow us to write a simple if function that's going to say, ah, if our sensor reading is now less than, you know, 950, 940, we can turn on the buzzer and the LED. So let's do that. We can say if LDR value is less than, let's go for 940, open up the little if bracket, and what we're going to put in here is we're going to put digital rights. LED one pi, and we're gonna put digital right buzzer high. Um, and now at this stage we could either just put a, a delay after them and then turn them both off, or we could just do a little else. Now else is much neater, so I'm gonna do the else. And else, um, so if they're not high, if this if hasn't been tripped, then we're just going to be turning them off. And do I probably looks like I got one too many brackets. Um, that closes the else, that closes the loop, and that one does nothing. And let's have a look at the rest of the code. Okay, so this point we also have this delay of half a second which is going to be delaying our responses as the code all of the code is executed each time we go through the loop we get rid of that the response should be instantaneous nah. oh, bracket looking good all right so once this uploads, I'm going to try cutting the beam and see if I set off the alarm. And you can basically see the laser with my finger. All right, brilliant. That's that. That's how you make a very simple laser tripwire. Now, in the very next video, I'm going to take this two levels higher, um, and we're going to try to build laser tripwires that you can walk through yourself without actually turning off the sensor or turning off the laser or doing any kind of uh, 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 fancy electronic hacking. You're literally going to walk it, walk through it with your own particular manner and that's going to be enough um, so you can essentially um, walk past your own laser trip wires while any burglar or invader is going to trip them off and set the alarm.
So much for today. As always, your turn to build it.